Can you tell I just had lunch? <laughs> how many guys, and be honest now, how many guys when you eat something, it ends up on your shirt? <laughs> Me, almost every time. Almost every time. <laughs> Anyway, my last video I did, I, uh, I melted a bunch of different kinds of aluminum or different aluminum sources. I did uh, cans and I did horseshoes and swarf and extrusion and something else, it seems like. I can't remember what it was now. Um, oh, a bottle, an oxygen bottle. And uh, got it very, I measured up the yields and everything. Now, and I got a ton of great comments um, from people, and I assume they're great. I'm going to take them that they were great um, because I think people were just trying to help and trying to, uh, you know, help me get the right amount of yield and, and correct some of the things I may have been doing wrong. And so we're going to try to fix those today. I'm going to try to do what they think, what everybody's been suggesting, lump them all together, and we're going to do it all at once and just see what happens. Uh, I'm going to use the swarf again because the swarf had the lowest yield for everything I was doing, and I've got a bunch of it, so we're just going to try to see what it, what it'll do. Uh, and so let me see. Oh, hang on. So here's what we're going to use for. We're going to use this stuff, right? This light salt, which is oh, I don't know. It doesn't tell me what the percentages are. I don't think here. It's sodium chloride and potassium chloride it would appear that there is more potassium chloride than sodium chloride in this stuff now everybody well almost everybody tells me that that is what i need to use for flux and um to be quite honest with you i have uh one guy in particular i won't, I won't call him out here just because i don't want him to get catch any grief who I believe knows what he's re really knows what he's doing, and he told me that I need to have fluorides, like sodium fluoride, in there for it to be really effective. I don't have sodium fluoride. I don't have any fluorides. Uh, I have toothpaste. <laughs> it probably doesn't count. <laughs> um, so we're going to just melt the, the um, uh, what do we call it, the swerf again. I'm going to use the salt. Uh, I've been told sprinkle it on the top. I've been told mix it in. I've been told keep a puddle of the liquid stuff on top. I'm going to try all of those things. Uh, I'm also going to get a puddle of aluminum in the bottom of the uh, of the crucible so that I can dump my swarf into that melted metal. Uh, melting it works more rapidly than if I heated it up and let it sit there in the in the uh, uh, the atmosphere. Call it atmosphere of the of the crucible and in the foundry and the furnace. So um, we're going to try those two things. Get a puddle going first. Use the salt, and we'll see what happens. So let me get this stuff going, and um, I'll put the camera over the top of the uh, the furnace. So you can kind of see. Hopefully, you can see what's going on. Okay. So here's the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to take this ingot that I made from cans. It's 184 grams of aluminum at this point or aluminum oxide, or dirt, or I don't know, 184 grams is what we got here. I'm going to melt that into the crucible first, and then I'm going to start adding in the swarf. We'll measure the swarf before we do it. We'll weigh up our ingots after we're all, it's all said and done. Subtract out the 184-ish, because it'll be a little bit less than 184 when it's done. Um, and we'll see, how much swarf, we'll see how much metal we get. So... First things first, get this thing get melted. Okay, I got the furnace going. Um, I got the, no I don't, ingots right there. I'm gonna get the furnace hot before I put that in there. Here is 454 grams of draw, or 453 <laughs> grams of swarf. Dang. All right, I got the crucible heating up. Um, this is going to be the shot of the day. We're just going to keep looking at the, we're going to try to watch from this, this angle. Uh, most of the time I got the camera about seven feet up off the floor, so hopefully it's going to be enough to keep it from melting. And we'll get our aluminum ingot in there in just a minute. 
cannot believe how loud this thing is. <laughs> anyway, uh, continuity check. What just changed in the picture? I'm going to reweigh my swarf just because I, you know, I spilled it. Okay, we're melted in there. I am going to do this. I'm going to keep turning the furnace, the flame off and on just because it's so stinking loud. Um, you can see in there, there's a puddle. I'm going to add that. Oh man, it's hot. And I'm going to do stir it in because that's what I was told to do. And we've got a pretty good puddle. I'm not going to take anything out of there. Just leave it the way it is. I'll go ahead and add. was good wasn't it <laughs> let's add some more salt because I was told to do that and we'll turn the flame back on okay here's the last of the swarf I'm gonna push it down into the puddle like I've been doing with all of them I've got this nice huge blob of stuff that I'm not sure what we're going to do with here, um, but it is what it is. Pouring this stuff, I've been pouring it on every single time, guys. Mixing it in, pouring it in, doing whatever I have to do, trying to get this stuff to to flux up. Now there is, I would say there's more aluminum this time than the first time I did it, so that's that is encouraging. We're going to finish the melt. I'll figure out what to do with this thing. <laughs> and we'll uh, weigh it up. Okay. We got it all melted. I put that big wad of stuff back in just because I figured what the heck I might as well right and it'll all just scoop out and I can't use those yet you can't see me but I'm trying to get my crucible tongs together and I need to be scraping dross well I will say this I don't know if it's the if it's the salt or if it was the puddle um, but it looks, just cleaning this thing up, I think I got more, more aluminum this time than, than last time. All right. Now we can get the crucible tongs. So let's see, can you see in there? There's some stuff. Wow, that's hot. Down in the bottom, I gotta put this back. <laughs> there was still some stuff down in the bottom of the, uh, 
of the crucible. Uh, but this is encouraging because last time I did, I got about this much. <laughs> right, I got this little bitty thing here um, out of that, basically the same, actually out of more swarf. I think I was five over 500 grams this that time, so I'm 450 this time. Um, and now one of these, almost one of these, was the cans. So we'll get this cooled down and we'll weigh her up and see what we got. So here's what I'm going to call the clean aluminum, even this little bit that I pulled off the side of the, the crucible. 499 grams of um, clean aluminum. Now this is interesting to me. I don't. Let me see if I if I change this. Maybe you can get it up closer to you. God, it's stinking lights. Let's make everything look so bright. You see this pattern in here? It almost looks like swarf. <laughs> Um, I don't know that I saw anything poor in there, but it's quite possible that that's what that is. I don't see any on the bottom or sides, but uh, I've never seen this geometric pattern show up in my uh, my uh, cool aluminum. So, four ninety nine. Now, let me go ahead and turn this off, and we'll zero it. And this is my dross, and this is pretty. Pretty darn drossy looking. It doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of aluminum in there. There might be a little bit right there. Um, but for the most part, it's just black and crumbly and ugly and all the things you've come to know and love about dross. 175 grams of dross. And that is with a cleaned out crucible that's still really warm. <laughs> anyway. So let me get some paper and I'll uh, I'll do some math. 499, 175. Hang on. Okay, if you remember, we started off with um, a puddle, right? We had I used 184 um, with that. I'm going to call it the puddle ingot. Okay, 184 grams of that. Uh, we ended up, and we then we used 450 grams of swarf. What we ended up with, with these two ingots, uh, these two ingots is um, 499 of, I'll call this just ingot, to, to start with. And then we had 175 dross. So if I if I take out from the 199, I take out the puddle. So let's just say I do 499 minus, and I'll be general, 180. Let's just assume four grams of the thing get turned into dross as well. And, uh, and so and it makes my math easier. I end up with 319 grams. Of, of ingot that came from the swarf. So now that I know that, uh, I can say that um, 319 divided by 450 is approximately 71%. Now that is a whole lot better than I got yesterday or whenever I, whenever, last week I guess, <laughs> It seems like just yesterday um, that I got when I did it before because before I ended up with a piece that wasn't a whole lot bigger than that and I think I ended up with nine percent if I remember right it was horrible so I will say this that one of the two things or maybe it was a combination of them oh, I do this every time let me back up let me let me look at you here <laughs> this is now the fourth time <laughs> I've tried to shoot this ending it's crazy. The first time I was doing it, I was talking, and then I, I lost. I completely lost it. I didn't know what I was talking about anymore. <laughs> Next time I tried to do it, my son called me right in the middle, so I talked to him for a little bit. Last time I tried to do it, the battery in my mic died. So, four, four, fourth time is the charm here. Okay, <laughs> here's the deal. Yes. I was able to increase my yields by doing the things that people suggested to me. So 
Thank you. Good stuff. Um, personally, I believe, and I, my guess is the yields were increased by doing the puddle and then dunking and pushing the metal down into that puddle and melting it quicker than letting it be in the, the uh, atmosphere, as it were, of the, of the whole furnace and, and just kind of turning to paper-ish looking stuff. Because before, it's, it's pretty bad looking. Um, I, think it's, I think that was the big part. I did use a lot of this stuff, and I started in... To the, I put it on top of the, the swerf when I put it in the crucible. When I pushed it down in there, I stirred more in. I put more stuff, more swerf in. I put more salt in. So, I mean, I was putting salt in the whole time and using it and stirring it. And just before I finished, I de... You almost heard me say degassed it. We know I didn't degas it. I, um, I degunked it. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. Um, and I put more in there, stirred it up, and then I was able to, I started to scoop and dross off. You saw how much dross I got. I still had a lot of dross off that junk. Um, now here's the deal. Yes, I was able to increase my yields so it can be done and you can get better. And I expect, had I done the same process with the aluminum cans, I would have gotten better yet still. I think I had 30% last time. Um, and I think I would have probably been at least 70%, which would have been great, because then cans make it almost worthwhile to, to melt. Here's the bigger question now, is this stuff here, this shape, this geometric shape on here, that bothers me. I don't know what it is. It looks just looks like it was stuff that didn't, I don't know, it looks like bad stuff, bad, bad things, bad juju in there. So... Would I use this for pouring a, you know, a sand ramming tool? Yeah, probably. I, I mean, I wouldn't have too much trouble. Would I make an airplane part out of it and get in the airplane and fly? Mm -mm. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I have no idea how stable it is. It could be the worst junk in the world. I don't know. It's shiny silver, but that's all I know about it. So, um, I've got 40, a 40 gallon can of Swarf, if anybody's interested in buying it, <laughs> I'll have it for you. Uh, all you gotta do is come to Denver and get it. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it. I'm going to just, I'm gonna link one video to this, one video. I'm going to go ahead and um, link last week's video right there, which is the the first attempt when I tried to melt all this stuff, and you can kind of go back and see all the things I did wrong because people, will, and then look at the comments and see all the things I did wrong. Uh, and then I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna do the uh, subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, you know you wanna do it, do it, click that thing. <laughs> you guys have a great day.